What's going on guys? I'm back with another arcade tour. This time I am here today. This is the round one arcade in Glendale, Arizona. It's outside of Phoenix. This is a new round one. It just opened not too long ago and it's a pretty good size. And they also have upstairs, they have a Spocha. So it's two floors, which is really, really cool. It's very hard to find two floor round ones. So we're gonna start and give you guys a tour of all of the games that they have here. The game selection is rather interesting. There's a lot of older stuff, but this is a new store. So they definitely, rotated a lot of games so some of the games here are very very interesting and there's a lot of uh multiple game units of the same game so anyways we'll start there's the bowling lanes there are only eight of them i know some stores that have like 30 which is crazy uh over here is house of the dead and the dark escape they have the walking dead and then over here they have the new king kong vr and then here's something very interesting they have a magician's wheel here and this is a this is an old game it doesn't really look um, old, but this is a very old game, and I don't know why it's here, which is very, very strange. Here they have an uh, Iceman, uh, Candy Crush Saga, Monster Catcher, a Flyo Clock, and then over here they have um, Pirate Falls, which is an interesting game. And then over here they have two of the Goldfishins. It's 500 for the jackpot. They have a uh, Pixel Chase, a uh, Ball Run, which is another really really uh rare and unique game here they have a subway surfers so this is also uh well it's actually old here they have uh, cubes which is usually at a lot of round ones it's like a round one exclusive um a lot of the round ones have them i've never seen it anywhere else here they have two uh power rolls they're the exact same and they have two sinkets and they have a baseball pro it's 2000 for the jackpot. I'm not sure if that goes up or not, but that's very, very good. Here is a uh, Here they have a uh, Domiclon. And it's rather interesting because they have a Domiclon here and a baseball pro. And on the other side of the arcade, they also have another Domiclon and another baseball pro. It's really strange. Uh, they have two Baytex ski balls, two ice balls, uh, Space Invaders Frenzy, a Centipede Chaos, two Monster Drop Extremes, and here is the mall, it's closed right now. They have the mall entrance to the arcade on the lower level of the mall. And then the upper level is the Spocha. So it's really interesting. Uh, they have an Airfax Extreme, and then here's all the cranes. Uh, they have a decent selection. I would say it's about at average of all the other round ones I've seen. Uh, I'm not sure how many UFO catchers they have, but here's all the drop cranes, which I don't really like to show. And then rows of uh, drop plush cranes. So these are all the newer ones. But I usually like the UFO catchers a lot better because these are all rigged now. All the UFO catchers are skilled and they're really unique. But these are just all uh, drop the prize cranes and pretty basic rigged cranes. There's a lot of mini ones. It's weird here because the games, these are nine and everywhere else they're 10. So I'm not sure if the cranes are cheaper here than some of the other round ones I've seen. Here's all the rhythm games. So they pop it up Phoenix 2023, DDR, uh, Dance Around, uh, Music Diver. Another music diver, and then more puns and cranes and stuff. And then they have a kiosk. Uh, it's pretty basic. That's the standard. Uh, they actually raise the prices, but you can get a club card and you get a few more. So it's about the same pricing as like David Muscles and stuff. These more tickets. They have Wheel of Fortune. They have a Bop It. They have um, Angry Birds Arcade. Uh, Big Win Super Spin, Boardwalk Super Spin. They have a uh, Blinko, Price is Right. Uh, Monopoly Roll and Go. And then another Wheel of Fortune over there. And then two new cranes, which I've never seen those. Uh, here they have a Spin and Win, uh, Maze Escape. That's the best jackpot I've ever seen on that game. Uh, Willy Crash, uh, Wheel of Fortune, and then more uh, rhythm games. They have a Zombie Snatcher. This is the only one here. It's 2000, which is really good. Uh, two Gitadoras, and two of those. Again, I don't know all the rhythm games, so you guys are gonna have to comment below. Uh, here's two Whack and Wins, it's crazy. And then here's the other baseball pro. They literally have two of them here. Uh, this one's a thousand. They have two ticket monsters. Here they have two of the basketballs. And then, like I said, there's, there's another down the clown here. There's literally two down the clowns, two baseball pros, which is really, really strange. I haven't seen a round one like that before. Uh, they have a ring toss single, uh, let's bounce, a break the plate single unit, uh, NBA game time, the slam and jam basketball, hyper pitch, hyper shoot. Here they have Sonic, uh, Tightrope, a Crossy Road, a Treasure Quest, 
two carnival wheels. Uh, these are really nice. This one's not working, unfortunately. They have a tower of tickets, and it's really easy. But the highest is 500. But I think that's pretty fair, because look how easy that is. That is really, really cool. Uh, they have a Sonic Dash over there, and they have a Connect 4 Hoops, Hot Shot, four maximum Tune 5s, two Nitro Trucks, and then more cranes and coin pushers. Uh, four Mario Karts. They have more cranes, so all those smaller ones. Then more drop cranes. I don't know if there are UFO catchers here. I haven't taken a look at that yet. There's a lot of drop cranes. There's more of them that we saw over there. There's more drop cranes, just the same stuff over and over. And then we'll get to the coin pushers. More stuff. There's some more rhythm games in the air hockey. Oh, yeah, here's the UFO catchers. So they have a few UFO catchers. Well, these are drop ones, actually. But um, they have a decent selection of UFO catchers. So, actually, we got playing. Uh, they have these new Rillakumas. I haven't seen that one before. That's really cool. These are new Rillakumas. Never seen those before. Not sure if all the round ones are getting them or not. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure there's more. Uh, here's some more of the UFO catchers and more drop ones. So these are the figure ones. These are like drop box ones. More drop the box. Uh, more fun zones. More drop ones. Uh, again, more fun zones. A lot of the fun zones here compared to some other stores. These are 11. I'm not sure if that's all the stores. I think they raised the price. Uh, this one's cool. Never seen that. It's like um, drop the metal cage or metal chain. That's really unique. Uh, they have some more drop figures, ping pong ball droppers. Same all, same all. More fun zones. Uh, big drops cranes. And then a few more cranes over there. So there's not that many UFO catches at all. It's probably one of the least I've ever seen. And more uh, big drop ones. Now for the coin pushers. They have a great selection of coin pushers. Angry Birds Coin Crash, Rick and Morty, Gold Railroad, brand new. Six players too. And you guys are never going to believe it. They have two of these here. So there's like two gold railroads. This is a brand new game. This wasn't at IAPA. This was testing and then it didn't uh, I never saw it at IAPA, and then it got re-released again. So all the round ones are getting this now. It looks very, very cool. So nothing I have to play one day. Uh, some photo booths, the ice cream machines, the vending machines, Ticket Dome, Fire Storm, uh, some pool tables. And then they have Pearl Fishery, uh, Whack a Clown, Willy Wonka, Avengers, both the SpongeBobs. Oh, there's another zombie snatcher, so my mistake. Two SpongeBobs, they're 5,000, very good. There's another zombie snatcher. So they got two zombie snatchers. A lot of the random ones have two zombie snatchers. It's crazy. Uh, they have this new uh, Smash Stadium. And then more coin pushers. So they have the new Castle Mania as well. This is a four player. This is a reskin of Marble Carnival. So they don't have Marble Carnival. They have this. I'm not sure if they phased it out or not. Uh, DC, four player. Wizard of Oz, six player. Red Zone Rush, which is not a coin pusher. And then here's the other Gold Railroad, which is crazy. I've never seen around one two of these this is insane i don't know why there's two of them here but that's very very cool and then minecraft dungeons and justice teenage mutant ninja turtles and just like food and seating back there so that is basically it um pretty standard size round one but a lot of cool games here this is the round one in glendale arizona outside of phoenix just northwest of it uh pretty cool round one new round one and with spo it's one of the best ones in the area that i've seen so really really cool if you guys are in the phoenix area i highly recommend this place uh, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below where I should get to next. And we'll be at the next arcade soon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys there.